Good morning. Today is November 13th, 2020. My name is Father Trav, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let's begin. My brothers and sisters, many of us in this world, we consider ourselves champion athletes, business people, and spiritual teachers. And we all cite ourselves based on our ability to self-reflect. And this is also true for every one of us who are fulfilled and happy with our lives. Linda Joy, an actress, once stated, Your soul needs time to solitude and self-reflection in order to love, lead, heal and create, you must nourish yourself first. In addition to this, St. Paul reminds us in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves, or do you not realize this about yourselves, that Jesus is in you, unless indeed you fail to meet that test. You see, friends, in this world, we can either see our life as half full, or half empty. To see life half full is to view life in a negative light. And to see life half full is to see life in a positive light. However, to even get this far, we must be willing to reflect on where we are and where we have come from. Self-reflection is defined as meditation or serious thought about one's character, actions, and motives. It's about taking a step back and reflecting on our life behavior. But the question is, do we? In life, so many of us, we keep moving. We push through and we do not stop to reflect. We stay in jobs that literally kill us, relationships that zap our energy. We stay in circumstances that leave us stressed, unhappy, frustrated, and tired. You see, friends, we keep running on the treadmill of life thinking we don't have time to waste. So we keep moving in order to keep up. But too often, we just crash and burn. That's because the only way to keep up with the pace of life is to stop, to hop off the treadmill, to reflect on what's working and what's not, to identify what to keep and what needs to change or what needs to be thrown out. The good news is you don't need to hire someone to reap the enormous benefits of self-reflection. All it requires is awareness, commitment, and dedicating time. Many people, my friends, they find themselves doing self-reflection and they find it difficult or troublesome. They don't understand why they need it. And they don't see the benefit of doing self-reflection. And we ask ourselves the question, why is self-reflection important to us? Here, I will reveal the benefits of self-reflection. The first one is, it improves self-awareness. It allows us to understand who we are and whose we are. The second thing is, it provides perspective. It gives us an opportunity to step back and to take a look at where we are in life. Looking at the vantage points and seeing which directions we should go in and which direction we should not go in. The third thing is, it facilitates a deeper level of learning. In order to understand who we are, we have to reflect. And in order to reflect and to learn, we have to be willing to do research and to figure out why our life is this way. And the fourth thing is, it improves confidence. If you know you, there's nothing to be ashamed about. This is you. You know who you are. You know who you are. So regardless of what people have to say about you, it shouldn't matter. Friends, if self-reflection isn't a regular part of your life right now, this is your wake up. It's time for you to take a step back and it's time to hop off the treadmill that we call life. And it's time to reflect. Let us take a moment to reflect on life and to take our day to God in prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Father God, like Elijah, we turn and we face you in the midst of the storm. Help us this hour to hear you speak to us, not in the wind or the thunder, nor even in the upheaval of the ground beneath us. Help us to hear you speak to us in our heart of hearts, as that still, small voice amidst the storm which gives us direction and peace and hope. Father God, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, Today I challenge you, as I challenge myself, to reflect on your life and to see where God has brought you from. As usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day. Until we meet again.